What up guys, Real Touch Gmail here and back with my third tutorial for my 3D FPS series. And last time we went ahead and just made a simple room where you could look around and well, it wasn't even a room, it was really just uh, a platform that you can go on. As you can see, I changed the texture of the floor because we are going to be adding walls in right now and we're not going to have grass and walls. <laughs> So if you have not seen my last tutorials, uh, go ahead and press the, the um, my last tutorial on the top left, and that will bring you right to it, and that will show you how to make this. So let's go ahead and make these walls. So what I've done is I've created uh, an SPR wall horizontal and an SPR um, wall vertical. So I'm just going to create that as an object. So OBJ wall horizontal. And just give it the sprite. And here's what we're going to do in the draw event D3D draw block. Now we're going to do X minus 16, Y minus 2, uh, 0, and then X plus 16, Y plus 2. And then Z is going to be however high you want your walls to be. So I'm going to make it 100. And then we're going to go ahead and set a texture. So background get texture. And TX wall. We haven't made this yet. We're going to go ahead and make it in a second though. And then we'll just do 1-1. One, one. Let's go ahead and make that texture real quick. So just pick a texture out here. I'll just do... Mm, I don't want to spend too much. Alright, here, I'll just pick this. Rustiness. Okay, that's my texture. So, go ahead and duplicate it to the vertical. But now in the vertical, you got to change something. Instead of this being x16, this has got to be 2, and the y's got to be 16. So just go ahead and change that, and everything else will be the same. So go ahead and go in your room. And add it. I'm actually going to change the background. Okay. So go ahead and just add your walls in. Just like how I'm doing now. You can really put your walls in any way you'd like. Alright, so I'm just putting the walls in here. Okay, and then I'll put like a wall right there, and then we'll have like a vertical wall going like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the game now. As you can see, we have walls with the texture we wanted. So isn't that awesome? It even has a little thickness here. Uh, we use that with the X minus and the X plus. But now we do run into a problem here. Look it. You can walk right through the walls. Now that's obviously a problem if you're going to make a game. So in order to uh, fix that in our player, what we need to do is collision with uh, any of your wall. Is you're going to set X to equal X. Um, previous and y to equal y previous and that's just whenever it goes it's just going to go back to its last position that it was at whenever it collides so you want to make that for the double or for the both walls okay and as you can see we cannot go through the walls which is pretty awesome and um, yeah, um, I don't think I have time for this next tutorial, or this next part that I'm going to go and show you is the ceiling. We're not going to have time for that, but next tutorial I'll be right on it. And um, yeah, hopefully we're going to do some fun things with uh, this game that we've started to create. So yep, go ahead and leave a like if you liked this tutorial and it helped you out. Go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials in general. And um yeah, 
I guess I will see you guys next time.